So in this video, I'm going to show you the updated way of doing tapered threads in Fusion 360. So say you have your uh, your fitting that you have here. Um, you already drafted up. I'm not going to go into how to make a circle. But uh, first you'd make a offset plane. And you'd select the top. And you'd want to go down about negative 1.25 so that your threads don't sit up above this uh, top of your object. And you go create a coil. You'd select that plane. You'd select the center. Say this is 20 millimeters. And uh, I will go revolution and pitch. I want to go one revolution. I want to say about negative two. And triangular outside let's go to and this uh, these settings here will change on your model this is just settings for mine for my model and then instead of cut you go join and then you have this thread on your on your uh, model then you go construct plane along path and you'd select this bottom on this one move this all the way out. If you're doing the bottom thread, then you'd select this top one and move it all the way out. Um, what we're doing here is squaring up this face to be perpendicular with these lines. So you go to modify, split body, select your model, then select this plane that you created. And select that face that you just split and delete. Now this face is perpendicular with these uh, lines. So after you've deleted the face and squared everything up, you can select everything and go to modify, combine, make sure everything's set to join, and go to construct, plane along path, select that line. Like in my previous video, if it's at zero, it's gonna be at the bottom, if it's at 1, it's going to be at the top. So you want this halfway in between at 0.5. This is where the process uh, differs a little bit from my previous video. Um, Fusion 360 team moved things around in the menu system, so uh, it's a little bit different. Uh, but it's easier. Click Create Sketch. Select that plane along path that you just made. And then go to Create, Project. Select the top, and then you should see these two purple lines that are created. If you go to the right side view, you'll see that this line is the same angle as the threads. Uh, so click OK on that project, and then go to Line Tool by clicking L, and click and drag, click and hold your line tool and uh, you should be able to there we go then hit your dimensioning tool and go 6 but you gotta make sure that your ending point is on this purple line right here your starting one is on this line that's perpendicular with, you know, so everything lines up. I use about six millimeters. You can go less for a sharper taper, or you can go more for a longer taper. And this is where it's a lot easier than my previous video, uh, like drawing the 90 degree box and all that. So you can just set your radius on the line, click finish. Click sweep and select the face and select the path, that line that you just made. Select join. And now you have a nice tapered thread. And check the back side to make sure nothing came through. That'll depend upon your wall thickness. If you do, you can select that and uh, delete that. For the bottom thread, you do it only in the opposite. Uh, plane along path, 
you'd select the top because if you select the bottom then uh, it'll never see how uh, the plane is not even embedded in this plane right here or this the face so you'd select the top line and then move this all the way out to the end and you see how this plane is now parallel with this this and this line right there hit OK hit modify split body select the body select the plane that you just made select that face hit delete so you can hide that plane then after that you have to join everything back together because you split it go select everything combine make sure everything's set to join then go to construct plane along path set that to 0.5 and a new sketch select that plane and go to create project you can select the top click OK select your line tool select this outside snap uh, circle click and drag your button and align it right there and hit your dimensioning tool and you can set that to six or whatever you want and click finish sketch go to create sweep select the face select your path set it to join so now you have nice tapered threads so this is the easier uh, 2020 method of uh, doing tapered threads.